All right, my fellow humans. Boy, that is loud. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit, and then <laughs> I'm gonna turn the down, volume down a little more. Um, this is 2048 Battles. I just wanted to do a couple little reviews of um, cheap little games that I found on the eShop on the Switch that I think are fun. Um, this is a fun little game. Uh, whenever you play 2048, the classic game, you can adjust it for timed or in a certain number of moves or endless, but you can do classic. Yeah, they also do different board sizes, which is kind of weird. Um, not in a bad way, just like, uh, I wouldn't want to play with a 3x3. Three three. I don't think I would, I mean, a 5x5 five five might make it a little easier, but, um, makes me feel like I would need to get, what's 2048 times 2? 2? 4,096. Uh, the numbers. These tile sets are <laughs> unreasonable. I hate them. They're horrible. Oh my goodness, they're horrible. So, I'm gonna try and do the ancient, uh, let's do the Wild West one. Because <laughs> they're so difficult to deal with. And let's do Mauve. Mauve background. I don't know what the music tracks are, but there's like 10 music tracks. All right, so. The main complaint for this game, the ga the, the thing that's gonna keep this from getting a five, five out of five for me is that it's on a diagonal. I cannot figure out how to get this board off of a diagonal. I think it has to be. And it's just a little bit, um, yeah, having it on the diagonal is just a little bit difficult for me. It's like, I feel like I need to keep my head turned for the entire game. Let's see, as far as the rest of the game. You have some of these abilities on the right. You can, what? Well, let's see what this does. That's an engineer. What the crap did that do? reorganizes them for some reason, which seems like a terrible thing to do. Or maybe did it just go back one? It looked like it went back way more than one. Oh yeah, baby. I got a bank now. Papa's cooking with a new bank. Awesome. All right, let's see what the sweeper does. Are you ready? Ah, I don't really play with these a lot because it's it it doesn't feel like uh, fun for me, but it's nice little features if you want to just uh, sweep away one of them. Let's push B and see if that cancels it. It does. All right, now for the third one. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the difference is, so I guess I gotta try. Oh, it upgrades it to the next thing up, seems like to me. Hmm, okay. Um, very cool. Yeah, and let's push R for legend. Oh look, there's a legend, so you can actually keep track. Okay, so I'm up to bank. There's a saloon. And then there's a, boy oh boy, that's some low resolution. I assume, yeah, can't zoom in. Yeah, bank saloon, something with a C, I, I, I can't quite tell, but the last one is a, is a grand hotel, a grand hotel, so. That's kind of the, uh, you sure you want to leave? I am doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, let me just keep playing. Uh, I'll lose soon enough. I don't know if I can, oops, change the music. No, 
gotta choose the music at the beginning and you're stuck with it for the whole game. That's okay. I did a great, great job, better than I usually do. Goodness, it gets loud on the front screen. Um, but there is multiplayer. So you can do classic, timed, or score. Number of players. Oh, I didn't even know. What? Eight players? Advanced options. Battle power-ups. Pause all players. Music track. Ten. Oh my gosh. Man, I'd love to be able to show you that, but I don't have eight controllers. I have one, two, three, four... Huh, I might only have four controllers, honestly. Statistics. So there's statistics that they can keep track of. There's a store. How many gold? Oh, I have more stuff. I can get future. Ooh, numbers two. Three and four. Oh, and I have 227 gold left. That's like one of my favorite numbers. And then you also have achievements that I guess you can claim for gold, for money if you don't want to actually uh, achieve them. So, this is a pretty simple game, but it's definitely a, an expansion on the classic uh, 2048 mobile game. Um, and I am seeing that it is $3.99, and I probably got it on a little sale, like 50% off or something, but the, the normal price is $3.99. There's obviously a few things that are, uh, a little rougher on the edges about the game, such as the music not being mixed, you know, this this theme being so loud whenever you exit out of a game or whenever you first pull up the game, it's so much louder than all of the music uh, inside of when you're actually playing 2048. It's a little repetitive, but that doesn't matter. I mean, I like the graphics. I think the graphics are nice. I couldn't quite read Casino in the Legends, so the resolution was low enough that I couldn't quite tell on my HDTV in docked mode. Um, the multiplayer aspect of it, I think, is one of the best things about it. So if you have multiple friends, or even just one friend, who likes 2048, you know, this is a great game to play with them. So with that, I think I'm going to give it um, a score for what it is. You know, it's not like Breath of the Wild, perfect score, Hollow Knight, perfect score. For what this is, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. This achieves what it's set out to do pretty well. Um, there's a few, it's a little rough around the edges in some places, but for what it's trying to be, four out of five. It's a fun little experience for not a lot of money. And so right there, I think I'll leave it and say toodaloo, 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 toodaloo. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Bye-bye.